And in, in that interview with uh, former President Donald Trump today turned hostile at the National Association of Black Journalists annual convention. He was answering questions from top political journalists in Chicago about the important issues facing the black community. Wait News reporter Ashley French is live at a barbershop in Dunbar. And Ashley, what did we learn from watching the former president's interaction? Well, not much. Former President Trump refused to answer previous comments that he had made and also why black voters should trust him. He also raised questions about Vice President Kamala Harris. Mr. President, we so appreciate you giving us an hour of your time. Former President Donald Trump filled with questions with the National Association of Black Journalists in Chicago on Wednesday. And things quickly got heated when NBC senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott asked. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> A discussion these four men and I watched at Just In Time Barbershop and Salon. Yeah, I couldn't really pay attention to the questions that they was asking because Trump was trying, every time they try to ask a question, Trump will try to over talk them. So they couldn't answer a, a real serious question. But one question on their mind, the economy. What's your plan for the black community when it comes to money? Inflation is absolutely destroying our middle class, uh, our working class, virtually every class. Inflation is a disaster. And all he said was inflation, you know, inflation. He kept going around inflation. From that, I didn't get any answers again. Mm -hmm. You know, he just danced around the question. Edric Felton likes the way Trump handled the economy in his first term and thinks that he will do a good job if elected again. And so, I mean, our country is it's in debt and stuff like that. So I think he'll handle, you know, the country a little better than everyone else. But others are not so convinced. With that, what we just seen on TV, we might as well say uh, Kamala is gonna, Kamala Harris is going to be the president because he didn't give us nothing. Now, Vice President Kamala Harris was asked to speak at this year's convention, and she did ask the NABJ board if she can do a virtual chat instead due to not being able to make it in person, and that option is still being discussed by the NABJ, and by the NABJ board currently as of right now. Live in Fort, live in Fort Myers, I'm Ashley French, Wink News.